Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. To address your question on how to utilize crutches, the first thing I wanted you to do is to make sure your crutches are adjusted properly for you. So you're going to take both crutches and put them up under your arms. And what you want is two finger width between the top of the crutch and the t um, your underarm, the axilla, on both sides. So two finger widths under the arms. Then with your arms extended, I want you to extend your arms straight down and the arm hand rests should lie at about where your wrist is, right about there, when they're extended down. So when you actually use the hand rest, you should have a slight bend in your elbow, because you never want to rest on the arms, the crutches like this under your arm, because you'll put a lot of pressure on the nerves under your arm that will cause you some trouble down your arms. You want to utilize your arms to support your weight. So the first thing I'm going to show you is if you're completely non-weight bearing on that injured foot, I'm going to pretend the non-weight bearing part is my right foot, which means my right foot or my right knee is so painful I can't put any weight on it. So what I want you to do is utilize the crutches to support your weight and you're going to use your arms the whole time. So you're going to put the crutches out and jump. And as you get stronger and better, you'll be able to go fast. But what I want you to do is to just take your time so you don't run the risk of falling. As you begin to be able to put a little bit of weight on your foot, your crutches are going to go out with the injured foot. So again, my right foot is injured, and you're going to put as much weight on that foot as you can tolerate. But again, the injured foot goes out with the crutches. And once you're zipping around pretty good like this and you can tolerate more weight on your foot, I'm going to have you utilize just one crutch. And the crutch goes in the opposite hand of the involved foot. So the opposite hand, the crutch, and again, the injured foot still go together as you walk because you really should not be walking without a crutch until you can walk without a limp. Because when people walk with a limp, it causes more problems in their hips and backs um, that can complicate your situation. So the crutch goes with the involved foot. I also want to show you how to go up and down stairs. So the rule of thumb with stairs is to go up, with the good foot first and down with the bad foot. So again, it's my right foot that's injured. So I'm gonna come up the step and push up and then you just lies my crutches that way. And to go down, I'm gonna have you, the right foot, because that's the involved, goes down first and then step down. So the good foot goes up first, and the bad foot comes down first. I hope that addresses your needs. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us. Be well.